The following video is to show the best method of obtaining blood samples for monitoring of your child's fee levels. The key to a successful blood spot is preparation. Make sure you have your lancets, stabbers, needles, whatever you want to call them ready. The blood spot card is labelled, the clear envelope it goes into, a self-addressed stamped envelope, alka wipe, cotton wool and plaster if needed and sharps bin. Use the stickers that the hospital have provided for you on the card. Make sure the stickers have the correct name and date of birth of your child on them. Make sure that the blood spot card is in date and valid to use. The expiry date is on the end of the card. If you run out of stickers then handwrite on the name, date of birth, date of sample, PKU and let the specialist nurses know that you require more labels. Make sure your child's fingers are warm. This can be by putting on some gloves or gently massaging the fingertip. However, do not apply anything hot as this may cause scalding. Once you have all of these things ready, you need to wash your hands. The fingers that are best for taking blood samples are these ones. The best area to take a blood sample from your finger is on the outer edge. It is important to avoid the fingertip pad as it will be uncomfortable. Clean the finger with an alcohol wipe. Allow the finger to dry, then get the lancet and press into the finger. Blood may appear straight away, however if not gently massage, but don't squeeze the finger. Massage the finger until blood appears. This is how you obtain a good spot. Do not press the finger onto the card. Let the blood form into a drop and then let it fall onto the card. Let two drops of blood fall into different circles on the card. If any blood droplets overlap or do not fill the circle, then do another spot. Blood spots should fill the circle but should not be double spotted. Samples are commonly rejected because the spots are too small. Once you have taken the sample, place cotton wool and a plaster, if necessary, onto the area where blood was taken from. Dispose of the lancet into the sharps bin. When your sharps bin is full, you can contact the specialist nursing team or your local GP or pharmacy for a new sharps bin. Write the date and time on the blood spot card and then place it into the sheer envelope. This then goes into the self-addressed envelope to be posted. Place the spot end of the blood card into the sheer envelope, not the other way around. Please ensure you have a first class stamp on the envelope so that it can reach our laboratory in a timely fashion. Please remember to contact the hospital at least two weeks before you run out of blood taking equipment so we can send more out to you. You will find a request form inside your delivery with your supplies. You then return this back with your sample or you can contact the team on the email or phone number included on the request form. Let us know if you have any problems with obtaining blood samples.